Okay, so what I'm going to do is share a few prayer inspirations that I have in my bathroom. That, um, like if I come in here to brush my teeth, grab my toothbrush, and I pray as I brush my teeth that the words of my mouth would honor God and to help me keep my mouth shut when I should. That's hard. So I need to pray that several times a day, many times a day, moment by moment. Baby girl is nodding her head. Yes. Okay. So, anyway. Thanks for giving me away. <laughs> our towels, they say trust. Okay. And it's a reminder to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding, but in everything we do, acknowledge Him knowing that He is directing our pathways. Okay. I have this by Tim's um, Sink. And it's fruit. I love fruit. You'll see a lot of a lot of grapes, a lot of fruit in our videos. Um, it reminds us to pray that our families will be fruitful, that we will abide in Christ and never be severed, and that we will be a bear fruit that cannot be humanly measured. And then I have the tissue. That, um, whenever you're using tissue, when someone's sick, um, you pray for. All the people all over the world who are sick today, God, please be near them. Touch their bodies, making every cell whole and holy. Another tissue reminds us to pray. We pull out that tissue. We pray for all the people who are brokenhearted, who may be crying, who are devastated by circumstances or relationships or, or whatever they may be facing. They're all over the world, and God sees their tears, and we want to pray, God, let your tears roll down my cheeks and keep me in prayer for the people who are hurting throughout the world. So when I see the lotion, it reminds us that we are called to be comforters and to, to feel good to, and to, um, that we're called to bear the fragrance of Christ to the world. And the sink reminds me to pray that as the deer pants for the water, so may my soul pant for you, O oh God. Soap, create in me a clean heart, O Lord, my God, and renew a right spirit within me. That's a good thing to pray when you're uh, if, with your bath scrubby, when you're taking a shower. And um, give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not um, keep us far, far from every form of idolatry. So those are just things that the soap reminds you to pray these things every day faithfully. Um, Melissa Ann gave me this little dish, and I keep my um, earrings that Christina and Matthew and the kids gave me, but it broke, and so it reminds me to pray for the brokenhearted as well, and for Melissa Ann, just as these remind me to pray Thanksgiving for my family, and um, Psalm 91 and other angelic um, scriptures that remind us God's power. Christina gave me this, oh my goodness, so many years ago when she was a little girl, and she's in her 30s now. I won't say how old. Um, I love her. That's a good thing. That would give my age away. <laughs> I don't care. Um, but it has a holy Bible in there. And so seeing this reminds me to pray, to ask God to give my family a passion for his word. And he has. He does. When your daughter gets up and she's got four children and she wakes up at five o'clock, four o'clock, you know, four o'clock in the morning to do Bible study while the kids are asleep. And then when your grandchildren even get up to do Bible study, one of them got up before six o'clock prayer, got dressed, made his bed, got ready for school so he could go to six o'clock prayer, went downstairs and started reading his Bible until time to leave for prayer. And that's passion that only God can give. This I put over a little dish that Melissa Ann made, um, and it's a heart. And the way it's woven, it reminds me to ask God to weave our family's hearts together and to weave our family into God's heart and that God's heart be woven into our heart. I chunk jewelry in this because when you're my age, you probably don't wear so much jewelry. 
So I just chunk it in here and it's got a butterfly and it reminds me to pray that my family, my children especially, um, will remain, and your family, will remain in a chrysalis until they're ready, they're fully formed to fly into the world, that God will protect them from the infections of the culture and that they wouldn't try to fly too quickly because that hurts their wings, it hurts their flight, and then they have to heal from that. Um, towel down here reminds us to pray that our hearts would be filled with praise at all times and in all circumstances. Oh, there's an angel. There's my head. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, there's a work to be done, that we would not be sluggards, but that we would wake up with a sense of urgency to fulfill the Great Commission. So that angel, every time I see him sleeping, that's what that reminds me to pray. So let's flip the camera around. Okay, and here's a window. So we ask God, when we see the windows, that he would open the doors and windows of heaven and pour out his spirit on all flesh, and that he would shatter the 1040 window and let his glory fall. Um, the red reminds on the drapes, remind us to pray with thanksgiving for the blood of Christ that has covered and has atoned for all our sins. And we've got the shelf up here. Yeah, can you got that up there? Okay, let's move it. Okay, up here. I'll just climb up here. Let me take my shoes off. Please don't fall. I won't fall. Okay. So, you got it? Okay. So, the grandkids gave me a church, a little decorative birdhouse. And so, it reminds me to pray that my family will have a passion to be in God's presence and in the fellowship with their brothers and sisters in Christ, their church family. Uh, whenever the church doors are open, this piece of ivy. Okay, now it's not going to straight. Okay, this piece of ivy, just that we would abide in Christ, um, that we would not be severed. The jar, the uh, vase, that we would be vessels to be used for God's glory and not our own selfish purposes. That we would pour out our selfishness in God would in it and we would live for Jesus because he loved us so much. Here's a cross that um, Jennifer gave us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So anytime we see a cross that we would be thankful for that gift, that freedom from sin, that um, just that joy because I was one of the worst but now here's the challenge right now turn off the videos and just go into your restroom and see how many prayer inspirations you can pull out of your bathroom uh, there's a lot more in here trust me there's a lot more in your restroom trust me and then once you list them get them in your mind Post a video to share that with your friends, share them with your world, share your ideas, and give other people ideas as to how they can pray more effectively. Um, did I say this one? The mirror, that we would be a reflection of Christ above all else, that we're not looking at ourselves and what we look like, but that we would be a reflection of Christ to the world. That's an easy one to pray. And anyway, that's it.